Hello and welcome to the Globe Claritas tutorial about the Claritas job control system called JCS. This system is an extension to the XSJE editor, which allows to run any number of slave jobs from one master job, using variables in the flow and the control file. We will now look at some functionality by using a job out of the Claritas Marine tutorial. Firstly, we'll open our master job deck, which performs a post-stack finite difference migration. When using the JCS system, the size job module becomes important. It contains, amongst other things, the location of the control file, which in turn contains the list of preliminary responses for different situations. In this example, it contains a sequence number, increasing by one, as well as a column titled Name and one titled Scale. Those column names can now be used in the job flow modules as variable names. In our example, we want to vary the velocity scalar on a post-stack finite difference migration. Those different migration results should then be saved under different names for future QC. To be able to run the slave jobs, we have to turn on the JCS functionality inside the job editor. New buttons appear. The top left one looks for a job and scans for variables within the flow. With the top right button, we can associate variable names with column names in the control file if they're not named identically. In our example, we have to link the output from the flow with the name of the control file. The Select JCS button allows us to choose a selection of slave jobs to run. All lines are of the control file. All jobs run individually, create outputs, as well as associated log files. JCS gives you the power and efficiency of the seismic parameter database, but since it can be completely ignored when it's not required, it does not present an unwanted layer of complexity that often comes with such a database. Another feature of the JCS system is that the control file can be updated or populated during a seismic job. One idea behind that is that the information required with the so-called JCS update module can then in turn be used in the next step in the seismic processing sequence. An example is setting the column called done equal to the value of status. This field will receive 1 when the job completes successfully. In the next line, we set to use one column to the number of CDPs within the data set. Running the corresponding slave jobs will populate the individual columns.